welcome, welcome to the Newsworthy, all the day's news in less than 10 minutes. Fast, fair, fun, and on the go. Thanks so much for listening today. We are talking everything from a major company hacked to Hurricane Irma heading for Florida and the contest Amazon just started. That and much, much more, of course, all in less than 10 minutes. America Mandy, it's Friday, September 8th. You ready? Let's do this. All right, let's get started with Hurricane Irma because the impact to Florida is set to start this weekend. The state is getting ready for a direct hit. Florida's governor said every Florida family should prepare to evacuate. Many already have or are in the process. CNN reports highways are jammed. There are shortages of things like gas, water, and sandbags. In fact, Time reports Amazon even had to start removing $100 packs of water being sold on the site. Many people had noticed the high prices and complained about price gouging. As for flights, expect most airlines to start winding down operations tonight. Flights to and from Florida will likely be canceled. Georgia and the Carolinas may also feel the impact of this storm early next week. In fact, the AP says people living along Georgia's coast are being told to evacuate as soon as tomorrow. And that does include the city of Savannah. Already, Irma destroyed some Caribbean islands and caused big-time power outages in Puerto Rico. BuzzFeed reports at least 14 deaths so far. So, a lot happening in the Southeast as people prepare, and much more expected to happen starting this weekend. There was an earthquake off the coast of southern Mexico late last night, and it had people running into the streets in their pajamas. Right after it happened, Reuters said there were power outages, but no reports of major damage. This was a big one, though, a magnitude 8.0, the strongest to hit Mexico since 1985. The LA Times reports the coasts of places like Mexico, Guatemala, and Costa Rica were all on the lookout for dangerous tsunami waves into the early morning hours. More information will likely be coming out about this one throughout the day. If you have credit, and I'm guessing most of you do, you're probably in the database of Equifax. It's one of the companies that gives you your credit score. Well, turns out the company has been hacked. We're talking social security numbers, birthdays, addresses, and in some cases, credit card and driver's license numbers. Yeah, not good. Business Insider reports 143 million accounts could be compromised, one of the largest hacks of all time. Considering it's almost half the U.S. population, yeah, that makes sense. Equifax has set up a website, though, where you can go and see if you were, in fact, one of the accounts compromised. And you can also get some free credit monitoring. I'll put a link in today's show notes on thenewsworthy.com if you want to go and check for yourself. Oh, and the company's stock? It's down. Could Amazon be coming to your city? Bloomberg reports Amazon wants to build a second headquarters that will be equal to its current HQ in Seattle. So the company is putting out the call to state and city government saying, hey, send me your pitch and we could set up shop in your city. And if you win will bring tens of thousands of jobs and billions of dollars in investments. It kind of sounds like a reality show contest, doesn't it? Who will make it to the finals? Amazon says the city must have at least a million people in it, and pitches are due October 19th. Several cities are already interested. The makers of the EpiPen are in trouble with the FDA. The Wall Street Journal reports Pfizer is accused of getting hundreds of complaints that an EpiPen didn't work and then not investigating enough. And yes, an EpiPen can make the difference between life or death. Reminder, EpiPens are what you inject into someone to give them a jolt of basically synthetic adrenaline. It's usually needed because of an extreme allergy to things like bees or nuts. Well, the FDA sent a warning letter to Pfizer saying the company needs to do more. Pfizer responded, saying complaints usually happen because the people using them aren't medically trained. All right, let's talk about a couple political stories to know today. First, expect the final vote to happen today that will approve extra funding to help the victims of Hurricane Harvey in Texas. The AP reports the aid package that will likely get final approval has even more money in it than the president had asked for. It's more than 15 billion bucks. Reminder. This bill will also raise the debt ceiling to avoid a government shutdown, at least until December. Changes could be coming to how universities handle sexual assaults. Education Secretary Betsy DeVos says she wants to change how they're investigated. 
Fox reports DeVos feels the rules that were put in place by the Obama administration, by the way, caused schools to go too far, taking away the rights of the accused. Her critics, though, feel new rules will allow assaults to keep happening and just be swept under the rug. At this point, there aren't too many details about what specific changes could be coming, but it's something college campuses will be watching closely. All right, some other things people may be talking about today. The Kansas City Chiefs won the first game of the 2017 NFL season last night, and most people were not expecting that. They beat the New England Patriots 42-27. Fun fact from the New York Times. Starting last night, every game ball will have a tracking chip inside. It's supposed to be able to tell how fast and how high the ball gets thrown or kicked. This adds to the technology already on the field. For the last two years, players have also had chips in their shoulder pads to track their movements. Okay, heads up, college students. Hulu and Spotify are teaming up to offer you a deal. Recode says you can now get both services for just five bucks a month. Need a little inspiration today? Time Magazine put out a list of women changing the world and has each of their stories, from Oprah and Hillary Clinton to the first Latina CEO of a Fortune 500 company. The full list will be in today's show notes. Okay, before we go, a quick look ahead to next week when we will be chatting again. Of course, we'll have a lot to catch up on when it comes to Hurricane Irma. Also, we'll learn more about the new iPhone. Yeah, it's expected to be revealed on Tuesday. The Wall Street Journal reports it could cost 1000 bucks, and production issues could mean it'll take longer to get one. And that's it. As always, check out thenewsworthy.com for links to all the stories I mentioned today. Just click show notes and find today's episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, review, and share it with friends. I so appreciate you spreading the word. And with that, we will chat again on Monday. Have a great weekend. Mm-hmm.